Hey guys, Anson's back again. It's been a while, I know, but today I'm back with my new friend, my fiddly fig, but also two recipes, the dessert and a meal. I mean, I did say dessert first, but we can always have dessert before we have a meal. So let's begin. So to start off, we have two tablespoons of milk, two tablespoons of self-raising flour, lotus spread, a whisk, a bowl to bake it in, and a nice big bowl to mix it in. So to the big metal bowl, I'm gonna add my flour, I'm gonna add my milk, and then I'm gonna add the amazing lotus. If you guys haven't tried lotus, you should try it out. It's a nice crunchy biscuit spread. You can put it on bread, pancakes, cakes, waffles, eat it with ice cream, eat it by itself, and you can see that I've already eaten some. So I'm gonna use three teaspoons of this in our mix. Now whisk your mix really well till it's well combined so there's no lumps of lotus or any flour left. Now scoop all of that or scrape it, don't lick it, just scrape it all into a little microwavable ramekin. Once that is done, put it into your microwave on high for 1 minute and 30 seconds. And voila, look at that, a perfect cake in under 2 minutes from preparation to microwaving it. Now if you want it to be a bit more molten in the middle because there's no eggs, you can do it for about a minute and have a nice molten Biscoff cake. Now that recipe one is done, let's start on recipe number two. It's gonna take you less than 15 minutes to prep and cook. So guys, for our second recipe over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some chicken chunks, which is actually breast, and thinly slice it. You can even use chicken thighs to keep it super juicy, but chicken breast could be kept juicy as well if you don't overcook it. Now using a non-stick pan on medium heat, add in your chicken and cook for around 5 minutes. After about 5 minutes, you can see the chicken is partially cooked with a little bit of pink and the water is starting to come out of the chicken. Now this is where you'll add in your 4 tablespoons of dark sweet soy sauce. Now cook it for another 5 minutes till the chicken is well cooked. Now on low heat, let the soy sauce simmer away with all the chicken juices. This will take about another 2 minutes. Now that's done, it's time to add in your white rice. I'm adding over here 2 cups of pre-cooked white rice. You can either use white rice out of a packet if you don't have enough of time, or you can use some old leftover white rice. Now all that I'm going to do is give it a nice mix for about another minute or two and then your dish is ready to be eaten. And voila, here you go, your soy chicken rice. Now you can eat this by itself or you can eat it with some plain vegetables on the side. But ready under 15 minutes. And how easy was that? That's two things ready in under 15 minutes. Now if you don't eat chicken, you can swap it with egg, vegetables or tofu and it'll be ready in faster than 15 minutes. But till next time, do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, check my blog down below as well and keep safe. See ya, bye.